Where is here? Imagine if here was not Earth, but Europa, Jupiter's icy moon. But why Europa? And what challenges and wonders would humans face if they set up camp on this distant world? The allure of Europa Europa, the sixth closest moon of Jupiter, has always intrigued scientists. Not just because of its ice-covered surface, but because beneath that icy shell, a vast ocean is believed to exist. This ocean might contain more than twice the water volume of all of Earth's oceans combined. But what's even more fascinating is the possibility that this ocean might just harbor life, and where there's water, human imagination and ambition flow. Europa is not just a cold place, it's exceptionally frigid, with average surface temperatures plunging to about minus 160 degrees Celsius, it's far colder than the chilliest places on Earth. Imagine the coldest day you've ever experienced, and then magnify that sensation many times over. Such temperatures would make any direct human activity on the surface nearly impossible. The tools would freeze, machinery would malfunction, and human life would be at severe risk. But the cold isn't the only challenge. The surface of Europa is encased in an ice shell, which could be between 15 to 25 kilometers thick. Breaking through this formidable icy barrier to access the underlying ocean, or even just to set up a base, would require advanced drilling techniques and equipment resilient enough to withstand the cold. Then there's the issue of radiation. Jupiter possesses a powerful magnetic field, which bathes Europa in high levels of radiation. This radiation is much more intense than what we're used to on Earth, and poses a serious health risk to any potential human settlers. Long-term exposure can lead to severe health complications, including an increased risk of cancer. Therefore, any habitats on Europa would need to be shielded effectively from this radiation. The thick ice layer, though a challenge for access, could be a potential shield against this radiation, making subterranean habitats more feasible. Europa's atmosphere is also significantly different from Earth's. Primarily composed of oxygen, it's extremely tenuous. This means that it's far too thin to support human life as we know it. Settlers on Europa wouldn't be able to step outside without a spacesuit, and habitats would need to be completely sealed and possess their own life support systems to provide breathable air. Europa's gravitational force is only about 13% of Earth's. While it may sound fun to bounce around in low gravity, the long-term effects on the human body are not fully understood. Prolonged exposure to low gravity conditions, as observed in astronauts, can lead to muscle atrophy, bone density loss and other health concerns. Thus, innovative solutions would be necessary to help humans maintain physical health. Finally, for all of Europa's abundant ice and potential water, many other essential resources would be scarce. Vital elements and minerals needed to sustain human life and technology might be missing or hard to extract. Reliable food sources would also be a significant challenge. Settlers would likely need to rely on shipments from Earth or develop advanced hydroponic and aeroponic systems to grow food underground. Imagine an endless expanse of water, stretching as far as the eye can see, hidden beneath layers of ice. This isn't a scene from a science fiction novel, but a reality on Europa. This moon of Jupiter has a subsurface ocean, believed to contain more than double the volume of all of Earth's water combined. And where there's water, there's potential energy. Europa is in a gravitational dance with Jupiter, a massive planet with an exceptionally strong pull. As the moon orbits, Jupiter's gravitational tug warps and stretches it, generating heat through tidal forces. This heat ensures that Europa's underground ocean remains liquid and doesn't freeze solid, but it also presents an opportunity. These same tidal forces could potentially be harnessed, transformed into thermal energy, and then further converted into electricity. It would be a continuous source of power, much like how we harness tidal energy on Earth, but on a much grander scale. Beyond tidal forces, there is evidence to suggest that Europa may possess underwater volcanic activity. On Earth, underwater volcanoes or hydrothermal vents spew forth immense energy. If such vents exist on Europa, they could potentially serve as an additional energy source, providing heat and possibly driving turbines to generate electricity. Moreover, these hydrothermal vents could create nutrient-rich pockets in the ocean, sparking intriguing conversations about potential life and offering resource opportunities for human settlers. Europa's icy surface is constantly bombarded by solar radiation, a process that splits water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. With the right technology, humans could potentially capture and store these gases. 
On Earth, hydrogen is already being looked at as a promising clean energy source, and with oxygen present, the necessary ingredients for combustion are readily available. In essence, Europa itself could provide a renewable fuel source, given the right infrastructure. Water, besides being an essential component for life, can be split into hydrogen and oxygen through the process of electrolysis. While this method would require an initial energy input, once an energy infrastructure based on tidal or volcanic sources is established, the vast ocean of Europa could serve as a vast reservoir for producing fuel, power and breathable air. Harnessing energy on Europa offers exciting possibilities not just for sustaining a potential human colony, but also for understanding and tapping into natural processes that are different, yet eerily familiar to those on Earth. When we talk about oceans on Earth, we imagine vast expanses of salt water teeming with life, stretching from one horizon to the other. Now visualize an ocean entirely concealed beneath an icy shield in perpetual darkness, untouched and unexplored. This is the enigmatic ocean of Europa. Europa's outer shell is a protective layer of ice that varies in thickness but can be several kilometers deep. Beneath this icy armor, the vast ocean, possibly containing more than twice the water volume of all of Earth's oceans combined, remains hidden. The challenge would be penetrating this layer, a task that requires innovative technologies and methods to ensure safe passage through the ice and into the waters below. One of the most exciting prospects about Europa's hidden ocean is the possibility of life. On Earth, life has been discovered in the most inhospitable places, from the deep oceanic trenches to acidic lakes. The question arises, could Europa's deep, dark ocean, potentially warmed by thermal vents and rich in minerals, support alien life forms? Discovering even the simplest microorganisms in these waters would revolutionize our understanding of life's tenacity and the potential for existence beyond Earth. It's speculated that over time, the movement of Europa's icy crust may have created a complex network of tunnels, caverns and pockets filled with liquid water. These could serve as oases for life or sheltered habitats. For human explorers, these subglacial pockets could offer access points to the deeper ocean as well as potential safe havens or bases from which to conduct scientific research. If we were to find signs of life, no matter how primitive, beneath Europa's icy crust, it would raise significant ethical questions. Would we have the right to colonize and utilize resources from a moon that already harbors life? How would such a discovery reshape our cultural, philosophical and religious narratives about our place in the universe? Europa's mysterious hidden depths beckon us with both challenges and promises. As we gaze upon its cracked, icy surface from afar, it's almost as if the moon is inviting us to uncover its age-old secrets, waiting patiently for someone or something to listen to its story. The idea of humans setting foot on a distant moon around Jupiter would be, in itself, a monumental event in our shared history. Imagine then what would happen if life were discovered beneath the thick ice of Europa. It wouldn't just be a scientific breakthrough, it would be a cultural and psychological game-changer. Living on Europa would mean adjusting to an environment vastly different from Earth. The constant darkness, the isolation from other human settlements, and the potentially claustrophobic nature of life beneath the ice could have significant psychological impacts on colonists. Addressing mental well-being would be as crucial as ensuring physical health in this extreme environment. With advancements in technology, the initial bases on Europa could expand into bustling colonies, with entire ecosystems being built beneath the ice. Advanced drilling and construction techniques might enable habitats to be developed closer to the Moon's subsurface ocean, allowing for easier exploration and resource utilization. Europa's vast ocean might not just harbor life, it could also be a treasure trove of resources. The extraction of minerals, gases and possibly even new, previously unknown materials from the ocean and the ice could support the Moon's economy and even be exported back to Earth or other space colonies. The challenges of living on Europa would drive rapid advancements in technology. From advanced drilling machinery to submersible exploration vehicles and life support systems, the technological innovations from a Europa colony could benefit other space missions and applications on Earth. As the colony on Europa grows and establishes itself, it could play a pivotal role in the broader human expansion into the solar system. 
being a midpoint between the inner and outer solar system, Europa could become a hub for trade, research and exploration, bridging the gap between planets and fostering interplanetary cooperation. The future on Europa holds infinite possibilities, painting a picture of humanity not just as residents of Earth, but as true citizens of the cosmos.